Welcome to a fresh sip of kosher caffeine with Rabbi Shlomo Ezegui. Lessons, inspiration in our daily present lives from our eternal holy Torah. We're going to be reading in the Torah the story of Balak, the king of Moab, who hires the very bad prophet, Bilam, to curse the Jewish people. Bilam advises the king Balak to bring these 42 sacrifices in order to get the Jewish people cursed by God. Because of the bad intention that the king Balak had when he brought these 42 sacrifices, the Talmud tells us the bad intention helped bring about the death of 42 children in the time of the prophet Elisha. But because he actually brought sacrifices to God, those 42 sacrifices, he was rewarded that later on, generations later, he would have a descendant by the name of King Solomon, Shlomo HaMelech, who brought these thousands of sacrifices in the times of the temple. He was rewarded for the sacrifice, and he was brought about a punishment because of his bad intention to curse the Jewish people. His son, Eglon, who was the king of Moab, once got up when the judge Ehud ben Gera came to deliver a message from God. And the Talmud tells us that because he got up to honor God, he was rewarded that he would have a descendant by the name of King David. Orpah was the daughter-in-law of Ruth. And because she shed four tears when she parted with her mother-in-law, Ruth, the Talmud tells us that she was rewarded with four tremendously strong children. One of them was Goliath. What we get from all these stories is that whether it's even an intention, certainly if it's an action, everything is recorded. And every thought, every speech, every action that we do somehow brings about the results that we plant. See you next time when we brew our fresh sip of kosher caffeine.